It could not have come at a worse time. The closing of the region's only juvenile detention center at a time when youth gun violence has escalated to terrifying levels. Young people being arrested for serious crimes more and more. There's no place to put them. In this special report, KDK investigator Andy Sheehan looks at the crisis in the juvenile justice system and what isn't being done to address it. It's been a spike in violent juvenile crime unseen in our region. Teenagers, some as young as 14 and 15, getting guns and using them at the slightest provocation. To make matters worse, if police arrest them for anything less than murder, they're generally set free. With Schumann not being around, there's no consequences for any actions that these kids, you know, do. There's simply no place to put them. There are currently no juvenile detention beds in Allegheny County and only 16 in all of southwestern Pennsylvania. The reason, a year ago last August, the State Department of Human Services revoked the county's license to operate the Schumann Juvenile Detention Center, where juveniles arrested for serious crime could be held to await a hearing or trial. Rather than fight the order, the county shut Schumann down and police have been spinning their wheels ever since. You do end up arresting people multiple times and they're right back on the street. Hundreds of juveniles are now on probation, about 75 of them on electronic monitoring ankle bracelets, which some had found easy to cut off. But if they're arrested again, police say they have no choice but to take them home to their parents. District Justice Eugene Riccardi said he recently signed a warrant for a 17-year-old arrested for the seventh time with an illegal gun. Once again, the teen was released. Something is wrong with the system. When I signed an arrest warrant for a juvenile for the seventh time carrying a gun, there's a breakdown somewhere and it needs to be corrected. To Riccardi, the answer is simple. Give us back a Schumann. The challenge is that we need a certified detention facility. There have been talks to establish a new juvenile detention center, but for months they have been that, just talks. The county isn't interested in running Schumann again, and Human Services tells me it's not in the juvenile detention business. There's been some discussions with the courts about hiring a private contractor to take over and run Schumann, but no word of any progress. They're trying to figure out uh, legally and, and logistically what kind of a center could be used, how quickly it could be staffed or contracted with, and how quickly they could get it up and running. Richard Garland, who works with at-risk youth to redirect them from crime, says a place like Schumann is needed to take the most violent ones off the streets. We have to find something, a place for those kids that are off the charts right now, you know, that's carrying these guns. That's still doing the shooting. The county just put out a request to anyone who wants to buy, redevelop, or operate Schumann. And although it will give preference to someone who wants to run it as a juvenile detention center, it will entertain all offers. Reporting at Schumann Center, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.